four billion years ago. Auroras illuminate the infant atmosphere, the visual manifestation of the Earth's magnetic field, produced by its molten core. It's a shield that now protects the surface from the ravages of space radiation. Beneath this shield, in shallow coastal seas churned by the tides of the moon, fueled by volcanic heat and seeded with organic molecules from space, comes the very first life on Earth. Just how it begins remains a mystery. But at some point in this distant time, chemistry becomes biology. For years, no one believed life could exist in toxic volcanic environments. But life is full of surprises. Today, our planet is much changed, but there remain some environments bearing similarities to early Earth. Iceland, one of the most volcanic regions of Earth. Just off its southern coast lies an isolated volcano named Surtsey. Surtsey is one of Earth's newest strips of land. In 1963, it exploded from the sea, erupting continuously for four years. It is now a world heritage site. Off limits to all, except a few research scientists. Surtsey's hot volcanic cracks and seams closely reproduce the environment of early Earth. The team drills cores of rock from hundreds of feet below. They search for the fingerprints of life, marks made in the rock by deep-dwelling microorganisms. Despite temperatures exceeding 250 degrees Fahrenheit, without oxygen and in acidic, salty water, the rocks are clearly scarred by single-celled organisms feeding off the rock. Scientists are now finding these extremophile cells in volcanic zones across the globe. <laughs> 